Today we're going to talk about plastics in our garden. Now, there are advantages to having plastics. One, they prevent weeds. Two, they conserve water. Three, they keep heat in the ground. And finally, certain plastics will reflect certain light that will make some plants grow faster than the others. Now we're going to talk first about black plastic. Now this is an example of the black plastic we're talking about. It's known as construction plastic. Uh, it's four mil, it's heavy, and it's easy to use. Now the reason we use this black plastic is that it conserves heat, it conserves water, but most of all, it prevents weeds from growing so that you have a weed-free garden all season. Now here we have an example of the clear plastic. This is heavy clear plastic, and what it does is it adds heat to the ground, it keeps moisture in the ground, and at night it collects little droplets underneath it so that the heat from the ground does not leave the ground. Now it's very important that you have heat in the ground at night as well as in the daytime, so it keeps your ground warm at night. And it keeps the moisture in your ground, but it does not prevent weeds from coming up. To uh, keep the weeds from growing underneath the clear plastic, it's necessary to cover it with black plastic. Another plastic which I think you will find interesting uh, is red plastic. And let me tell you why. The red plastic is specifically for tomatoes. And what it does is it reflects a certain red wavelength, a far red wavelength, up to the little plant, to the leaves. And the little leaves, the molecules in those little leaves interpret those wavelengths as competition. And it sends a message to the tomato to grow bigger, stronger, and faster. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. This plant was planted with black plastic. Three weeks later, I planted this plant with red plastic, and you can see the results. Now, one of the problems with this plastic is it's very thin, and it blows a lot, and light can get through it. So when it's put down, one, you probably should put it down in the morning or the evening when there's no wind, and secondly, I've found that putting newspaper underneath it will prevent any weeds from growing up and pushing it up. Now, for those of you who have shaded areas, I would suggest that you might try white plastic, such as we use in our greenhouses, because it tends to reflect more light up onto your little plants. And so in shaded areas, it would be very, very beneficial to use this. I hope these tips on plastic mulch will help you in your gardening and make your gardening easier. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.